Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you what I think are the top three pentatonic scale guitar patterns that we should all be able to play. When I say patterns, I'm referring to melodic patterns, playing scale notes out of order, not just up and down, but still in a logical sequence, and you'll see what I mean. Melodic patterns can also be called melodic sequences or sometimes tonal sequences. Being able to play scales with melodic patterns is incredibly important in music for two main reasons. Reason number one is simply how it sounds. If you've worked on scales before and then tried to improvise, you probably noticed that your improvisation just sounded like a scale. Using melodic patterns is one of the main tools improvisers and composers use to make the application of a scale sound like it's not just a scale. breaks up the boring sound of a scale makes it sound actually melodic. Reason number two is that it affects how we see and hear our note options within a scale or key. So playing a scale perfectly up and down doesn't mean that we truly know the scale. It just means that we know how to play it up and down. At that point, we've worked on one view of the scale, and that view is being able to see what note is next at any given time. And that's it. When we can only see or hear with the note that's next, I call that the maze view. Breaking up the scale into patterns, when we're jumping to areas that are beyond only that next note of the scale, it forces us to look at bigger chunks of the scale, seeing more of it at once. When we can see the whole structure of the scale at once and we're able to jump to any note, knowing exactly what that note is, I call that the map view. Of course we want the map view, and of course we want to sound like we're playing melodies, not just scales, which is why I'm making this video. Because practicing scales with melodic patterns is exactly how we achieve both of those things. The most popular scale form on the guitar is this pentatonic scale form. Here I'm playing in the fifth position, and this would most commonly be viewed as either A minor pentatonic with this note as the root, or C major pentatonic with this note as the root. Don't worry about what the root is when you're working on melodic patterns, just make sure you can do the sequence properly. So here are the top three melodic scale patterns to be able to play with this pentatonic scale form. Melodic pattern number one is just every other note. Every other note pattern is a pattern you should strive to be able to do with every single scale you ever learn. Melodic pattern number two is the back neighbor pattern. This is where you play a scale note and then you go back a note and then you play that first note again and that's one unit. So after that you move to the next note of the scale and you do that same unit again repeating the pattern. Because we have to go back a note I'm going to start the pattern on the second lowest note of the scale form. <laughs> neighbor pattern is also a pattern that you should strive to be able to do with every single scale you ever learn. Melodic pattern number three is a five note pentatonic pattern. This is just unique to the pentatonic scale and does not need to be applied to other types of scales. 
This is most commonly used as a descending lick, so I'll start on the high note to show it to you. Play five notes in one direction, one, two, three, four, five, and that's one unit. Then you jump back up the same direction, skipping a note. So we'll skip this next note, and we get to this one, and we do that unit again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. When you run out of room, you're just done with it. It's okay that it didn't have to complete the five notes. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four. And you're out of space. You could go down if you wanted to. This is often played starting on the second string. You play this note, and you actually make that the five notes. So you go one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. Notice now we completed the unit, we completed the sequence just on this lowest note. So the two ways are one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. They are the same thing. I'm just starting here and counting five instead of starting here, counting five, and then starting it, adding this note on. Ascending, it sounds like this. And those are what I think are the top three pentatonic scale guitar patterns that we should all make sure that we're able to play. You definitely do not need to master every scale pattern. That would be impossible. But for every scale and scale form that you want to know and use effectively, I highly recommend that you go beyond just being able to play it up and down and that you make sure you're able to play it with at least three different melodic patterns, both directions. That's it for this lesson. I'm experimenting with how to bring you the most value on this channel. So let me know, was this helpful or inspiring? If so, give me just a simple yes in the comments and hit that like button to help me out. Thanks so much. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time.